Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Tune Series 7, number 23. Well, as you can see, we are in Inferno. But perhaps more importantly, we has a new weapon. Yes, we do. This is the D-Shark. Yes, it is. Oh, lordy, lordy. What a difference in damage. The cap on burst and full auto on this is absolutely tiny yes it is i don't know if you can actually read this on screen but yeah it's definitely one of those yes it is Modi modifies all off as well i forgot about that and it does cold damage um cold damage seems especially effective against aliens of all things i did an alien daily today and uh yeah Pretty cool. We are in Inferno, and we are down here, and we are going to be killing some of these five Vortex Strikers. I have Fatty. Fatty Balls is parked round about there, if all of this goes completely peak tong, but we will see. Yes, we will. Ember Shimmerer. Uh, buffs wise, I have one new buff running. Yes, I do. This Gazump fight. You can cast it from 205. Not that many people could with the uh, skill requirements. They're pretty bloody high. Gotta keep forgetting to full auto because it comes around so damn fast now. Yes, it does. We've also managed to hit 211. Did a new imp hard yesterday. God, that's a long mission when you do it. But yeah, it was cool. Oh, look. Ember Shimmer Tooths. Teeth? To yeah, teeth. And uh, yeah, to cast it, I do need to have Moochums <laughs> and a bloody Wrangle. Those things debuffing, they are. I can't remember if these guys have any um, nano attacks. They might. Let's just get rid of that one. Okay, yes. So, Gazump Fight, if you don't know, is a four-hour buff, so it's worth getting the Wrangle to cast it, because it then does give you 107 to all damage. Which ain't bad. Okay. Feral Vortex Striker, come with me, my friend. I'm sure that thing just warped somewhere. Yeah, and it's 1,500 on full auto every time with this, which is glorious. Oh, the damage difference is pretty special, as you can probably tell. It, I'm still getting used to the fact it makes such a different sound to the Perennium. Having used the Perennium for over a hundred levels, more or less, in some form or another, most of the levels on this tune have been with the Perennium. It was fairly easy to equip this as well. I was uh, pleasantly surprised just how easy it was. I mean, the thing is, once you've got the skills to equip it, you have the uh, super fast recharges on both burst and full auto. It's cold damage. Reload, reasonable. I do know weapons that reload faster, but they ain't as good as this anyway. Oops, slightly below that. Okay, let's go for um, poison. I can switch it. Also, it performs some sort of proc with the cold damage as well, but I can't remember what it is. No new um, mirror shields or reflects, I don't think. I'm still using this one, reactive resonance field. It's the highest one I can use at this level because they do have level locks, unfortunately. Okay, well, we're making short work of these guys. This is what a soldier should feel like. Lots and lots of damage. Okay, let's go closely and cautiously. Soothe? No, we want strikers still. Can we see a striker in there? 
What are you back there? Striker, can I? I can. Trouble is the respawns are rather fast here. This would have been nightmarish with the perennium, which is why I held off till now. I mean, I know you guys love to see me suffer, but there are limits to what I will suffer. Yes, there are. I'm not sure it's doing any more damage with switching to poison. Frostbite. Ah, so it drops the... Yeah, just drops the run speed. Interesting. Okay. Just make sure all our buffs are... All tickety-boo. What other buffs am I running? I tell you what I haven't done is I haven't given myself cut red tape. I'm an idiot. I should have done that right away. Seeing as I had fatty here. Excuse me one moment, please. Okay, we're back. And I gave myself a couple more buffs. As you can see, neuronal stimulator and, yes, improved cut all red tape. Which is real nice. Okay, I'm not sure where we were up to. I think two strikers remaining. I think. I also went farming and picked that up for the 25 treatment I will probably need later. Not seeing any strikers. Only soothers. Come on. Where are you guys? Come on, where are you? There's got to be more than those two. There are nearly always. Can I... Ah, I've got one tabbed, but I... Ah, they've spawned back here. Well, okay. Yeah, poison is meant to be... Poison or chemical damage for Inferno mobs. Seems to be a thing. Just seems to be a slightly weaker AC for mobs here. Yes, yeah, so I could have probably gotten into some um, better implants at this point. But the thing is, I'm managing without, and it's a damn sight easier to do at 215. That's my thinking because then you've got treatment transfer and everything. In fact, I think you can get treatment transfer earlier than that, especially if you buy it from the Nanocan. I think the Nanocan has a different restriction on when you can get it. And, of course, the Nanocan lasts four hours, unless you enter combat and then it's poof, gone. Because that's not its intended usage. No, it isn't. It's a twinking can for getting stuff done. Very useful though. There is another can for treatment as well. I can't think of the name of it, but it stacks with it. Okay, soothers. See, we'd have been fighting with respawns at the door there virtually immediately before we'd even killed the first two mobs. Okay, we've got two. AMS. Now with the added damage and the amount of time AMS lands, we should have half a chance, folks, of pulling this off. Because we can take down the mobs we're fighting before the AMS says goodbye. Like so. Oh yes, all the damage. Really enjoying this at the moment. This feels so much more like a soldier should feel like. This, this is like going back to... The temple with a uh, quality 100 perennium. And you actually felt reasonably, reasonably powerful. Is that another soother there? Yeah, come to me. Nearly gone on the AMS, but we're only fighting one mob again, hopefully going to be okay with that and 40 odd seconds remaining before we can use that wonderful nano once again okay don't want those guys there you look like a soothers a sort of greeny yellow in their colorings 
Now I've already farmed ahead, I think, for a lot of the other stuff, as you remember. So the handing should be pretty good. We might even gain enough XP in this episode to get 212. Okay, one more soother. You look green. Are you a soother? You most definitely are. Come to me. Oh god, this is wonderful having damage again. It's I cannot overstate how much better this is. And those that were watching the previous episodes probably thinking, my god, this is going rather quickly. Yeah, this is a huge jump in damage. This is more than double the damage we had before, I would say. Okay, who's next on my hit list? The my okay, like a like a bit of a mini boss. Can I get to him though? He's somewhere down there, I think. But there are a lot of mobs between me and him. <laughs> That's the Syriaki part, I think. There he is. Can I get this guy to here? Damn, we have ads. Okay. Preparedness to run away. DEFCON 5. I think we're gonna make it. Come on. Keep taking big chunks of health off this guy. That's how we roll. have this. Even with two of them on me, we may just have it. We're going to be ready on there. That rather wonderful buff. Come on. Down you go. Right. Hitting it. Debuff me with something, I think, then, was it? Was that a debuff? Felt like a debuff. Come on. It's about to poof. AMS is about to poof. Come on. If I get him down, we have completed the mission. Even if I have to GTFO to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Return to the guide. Thanks for playing. Goodbye. Now, I could have stacked more buffs today. I could have gone for a bit of extra ACs from my engineer, but I chose not to do that. Yotto Marshes this time. Yeah, so what do we think, guys? Do we think the D-Shark is a little better? I got it yesterday, as it happens. Um, I was out here farming for a doja. Not for as long as last time, thank God. Um, but yeah. I had a day where I literally was out here for three hours trying to get a doja. <laughs> it just became a, screw you, I'm determined now. Okay, what is it this time? Do I not get a reward for killing those bloody things? You in your camo dress? Okay, I'm ready. Oh, that, then we get the reward. Goodbye. Horn down fang, okay. And. Ember. Shimmerer's Tooth. Okay, I managed to get one. Big chunk of XP again. Okay, lizards. <laughs> this is rather nice. Coal lizard skin, okay. And, because we were diligent, I already have one. Well, they're not too bad, yeah. Compared to the other mobs he sends you to kill, they're bloody easy. Okay, one of those, and... Oop, just closed the bag instead of opening it. Smoky Salamander skin, so that's two items for him. More bloody XP! I think this is it now, the, the next one's... 
the challenge, I think it's kill uh, Zark and Razor. I'm going to say yes, but the likelihood is I will not be doing it today. <laughs> Generally, that you can maybe do it on a shade or something, but yeah. So there we go. That's the air. Uh, for the now, that's pretty much the end of that quest. Right, let's have a look. Um, is it on here? Yeah, there we go. Razor and Zark, which are two boss mobs. Yes, they are. So the next thing to be doing, really, would be to revisit Exterminate the Zealots. I think now with the weapon we have, the buffs we have, etc., we probably have a pretty good chance of that. Had this been as it was before, I'm thinking with the Perennium, that fight down there would have been a nightmare with the Perennium because we just would not have had any real damage to get it done. It would have felt very, very painful indeed. But, you know, I think they should lower the D-Shark level lock to 205 because you're still going to have to be an accomplished player to get it on at 205 you're still going to have to know how to play and how to twink or you're just not getting it on it's not like you're just handing the entire population of soldiers an overpowered weapon too soon but you know for whatever reason it's 210 to equip that weapon few other dreadlock items I want. Yeah, like I say, I picked it up yesterday. Um, pretty simple. Uh, was, like I say, hunting doges. Message came up on Dnet. Uh, for sale, blah, blah, blah. Sent a sale. How much for the D-Shark? Guy says, this much. I say, yeah, no problem. Which mob? Says, we have a warp. So I was just like, okay. Um, warped back to Rubicar. Got warped to it. Paid the guy looted the item and that was kind of uh, job done you know then I spent the next half an hour getting it on because the stats to get it on are a little better than the ones I've got so I had to like dump a bunch of perks around so all the ones I currently have in nano combat were moved across and put into heavy artillery etc but it all worked yes it did we had the full auto skill that's usually the killer on those that said, we are long overdue for some better symbionts. I do have a bunch of uh, artillery beaters, though, except for the left arm. I, I think I'm going to go and make a quality 300 Job arm with the ad def. I think for PVM, I think that's more useful. So that will be the uh, that will be the plan for that one. Right, let's recap. Oh God. Let's recap and redress as we uh, decide to take on the zealots. Yeah, these things, they annoy me massively. <laughs> yes, they bloody well do. Oh, God. Lag? Would anyone like some lag? I have bags and bags of lag if you would like it today. Yes, unfortunately, I do. Okay. They're just through there the sun has come out otherwise this would have been a darkish hell although to be fair it usually is down here right now these zealot things hit like a train and respawn very quickly what do I kill first I need zealots, not disciples. I think I'm going to have to kill this disciple to get to the ones I want. Let's get him a little closer. Kill him on. Okay, not so much damage out of this guy, but... What is a good level to start going to Imp? There isn't one really. There's no good level and just, you know, whenever you can. They do drop patterns as well. Okay, let's find me some zealots. Whoa, you saw that damage from that guy? You do not want to be fighting this guy for a long time. Whoa. 
That was a hell of a hit. Yeah, the zealots are just... They're, they're glass cannons, basically. They have... Low HP, but stupid damage. Okay. Thankfully, now, we've got so much more damage with this weapon. We're taking them out before they can do stupid amounts of damage to me. Okay, I need more zealots yet. Disciple, disciple, disciple. I need zealots. I get the feeling somebody's been down here. If you want the honest truth, looking at the layout of the mobs over where they naturally spawn, etc. Definitely feel... Oh, God. Yeah, there's plenty of places to get stuck and die around here. Okay, I've got a zealot. Got a zealot. Accidentally body pulled him, but that's okay. Oh no, it's a disciple. Damn. Oh well. At least we've got a weapon that's of use against them. <laughs> Full auto. Every 11 seconds, I love you. Sell it. Gotta wait till he's close. Gotta wait till he's fairly close. Do not want to trigger the boss yet. One more zealot. Yeah, he's gonna be hard. There's a zealot. Our camera's having a hard time with this. Come on. Closer. Ow, 2k. Has ridiculous damage. Okay. In this mess of... Dispose of the disciples. Just gotta find the disciples. Not so bad. Okay. You can imagine doing this at... Whatever it was. 105... Uh, two, 200? 205? Or 200, whenever it was we got here. Those zealots would pretty much kill you in two, three hits. Yes, they would. And how many of these do we actually do in total? It is five, yeah. Right, come on. This is so much more like it. Yeah, you saw that. But 211 win pretty good reflecting gear that thing was still hitting for like 2k through quite a few ACs to be fair need to upgrade this helmet now I'm not in penumbra yes I do fighting the big guy that's gonna be tough the thing I have noticed with the D shark <coughs> is for an opener it's basically worth starting with burst then full auto because you invariably get the full 15k cap with the full auto even though you've used burst but you're no longer waiting for the reload in order to use the burst it's kind of weird the way it works like that did it by accident once and thought oh i'm gonna try that again like watch let's have a quick look 5k burst, 15k full auto. With no reload in between. How many is that now? Two more. Okay, there's a zealot. Right behind you. These things spawn too damn fast. Ah! Whoa! See, I knew they'd be a problem. Yup. You don't want them respawning while you're fighting. 
the big guy. They, they will do more damage than him when you've got a few of them on you. Yeah, it's going to be tough fighting the boss, I think, on Soldier. I'm trying to keep an eye out for Zealot respawns like those two. Because they respawn at his bloody feet, you see. There's nowhere really you can pull him away that's good. And these melee mobs have more range than most ranged mobs do. Also rather annoying. Okay, one more disciple. What's near his feet now? What is respawning around him? Nothing there. Okay, you'll do. I don't have Fatty over here yet. But, yeah, he would prove useful, I think. If this all goes peak tong, then I'm going to use him to basically calm the whole playfield. Try and just deal with the one mob. <laughs> he said, really hopefully, in a kind of hopefully this will work type of way. Otherwise, we we has a problem. Come on. Okay, remaining now. Destroy the dreamkeeper. Okay, let's just. Double check all our little buffs are still running, like extra bit of evades, make sure our init is as quick as possible. And you, I think burst needs redoing. And let's just top up the reflect. Go in fully charged, okay he's buffing things near his feet. Zealot, let's get that out of there for a start. Come on, get closer. Respawns are starting to gang up on me. With the lower damage, this would have just been nightmarish. The respawn is fast on these buggers. Yes, it is. Need decent damage or crowd control to stay ahead of it all. Yes, you do. You see, they're not they're not high level mobs, but God, they've got some damage. These things. Okay, well, here goes nothing. How hard do you hit, big boy? that hard but he's got a ton of HP so we have to chop that oh there we go there we go come on wait for it wait for it okay we're making a dent we're making it this guy's a wimp compared to the zealots weird way they did this but yeah Please don't give me a respawn with zealots or something, because that's bad news. I'd love to know what he's actually saying. If anybody knows, let me know. Make sure those spawns coming up where he was standing. Stay the fluff there. There's something coming around the bend. I can see. Yeah, that is a zealot. AMS. It's a dead zealot. Okay. Back on the boss. He could have all kinds of tricks up his sleeve for all I know at the last second. I don't know. I can't remember. Been a while. Been a while since we've been at this. Come on. Come on. He's a big lad. 
Yes, he is. A rather big lad. Okay. Steel spoon, eh? Oh. Eat lead. Which is silly, really, because steel is far harder than lead. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're gonna die, boy. You're gonna die. Yes, you are. You are going down, sunshine. Okay. And return to... Find the one who talks with the past, who's actually back up this way. I'm going to get chased by zealots. And we hate the zealots most of all. And they, yes, will chase you all the bloody way over this entire playfield unless you go up the ramp. So that's the alternative. You can run in here and the buggers will follow you everywhere. However, I'm going up onto the next level. To Ward Alb. I've known them follow me up here, you know. But if they come following now, you see, I've got half a chance. Okay, are they following? Quick test. No, we have survived them. Good old Alb. Okay. One who talks with the past. That would be you. That doesn't sound good. Never mind that. Give me my XP. But the one who learns from the past said the Anzi had disappeared. So what do we do now? Kill even bigger mobs, I think it is. Can't remember. It's been a while since I've looked at this. I'll help you get the stories. Where's my bloody XP? Hmm. I thought you got XP for that stage. I was there going, come on! Anzi devotees. Where are they? Anzi protect. Oh, they're right out on. Yeah, okay. I think I'm thinking this is going to be a damn sight harder, though. Oh, yes, most definitely. Thing is, as soon as I do get to 12, I would have thought I'd have got a. Uh, some kind of reward for that XP wise, but no. Yeah, bit gutted now. Feeling a bit robbed, in fact. Okay, I think it's these guys over here. Let's just go find out. Yeah, it is. They got a lot of HP. I did not want to come anywhere near this quest with the perennium. Okay, and we also have a lot of demons here. Protector don't need. It's so hard to get this guy out of there. Right, don't vote eat number one. Okay, so far, so good. Yeah, these hit reasonably hard for their level. You don't want 50 on you at once, anyway, put it that way. Okay, not bad. Do you get a lot of demons? Brimstone demon? Don't need him. Who's that road? Okay, well, deal with the quest mob first. Demon of Shadow. Yeah, let's just deal with him. Might even pick up tomorrow's dojo from him. No, darn the past can be real. I don't actually need that, if I'm being perfectly honest. What I do need to do is start thinking about healing, though. <laughs> I love doing that. Two button presses and huge chunks of XP of uh, HP just vanish from the mob. This is what we like. Can't target. Come on. Devotee, come on. 
Now she come. May have pulled more than I wanted there. Is it just one? I think it is. We're okay. We can handle one. We know this. Ow! What's going on? Why am I suddenly taking a lot more damage? Can I start with less HP than I think I did? Yes, I am really, really liking the D-Shark, gotta say. It's a cracking little weapon to level with in Inferno and places like that, because you you are doing your, sh your share of damage in a team with this. You know, you're not just... The, you, there's that sort of transition, sort of 205 to 210, where you're the little gimp in the team, to actually being preferential in a team because of the buffs you have and your damage output being pretty strong. Depends on the type of team, of course. A lot of people uh, sell AFK spots in teams these days. Surprises me considering, you know, the uh, the current situation, let's say. With people having a little more time available at home. He's going to be a different boat team, wouldn't he? Protector, protector. Oh, good God. Come on. It's going to end up being a big kite fest, isn't it? Because these are going to respawn. I couldn't kill all of them and whatnot. You know, pull him out beforehand. Seem to be a bit low on devotees. What are you over there? You're a protector as well. What about... I'm not convinced I targeted that. There's usually an even number of both. So I'm starting to think somebody else has been out here, but the respawn's pretty fast on these guys, so I would think by now they'd have done the do. Devotee, you will do. You may be my next victim. Come to me. Oh, that took its time to react. It may not look exciting on screen, but trust me, when you're sat here playing, it is. So at the moment we're doing, what are we doing? We're doing the chemical damage, let's switch that. Do the cold damage, what's that like? Oh no, 17. Switch to poison, yeah, more damage. The question has been answered. On these mobs at least. Go away! Oh, smoky salamander. Why? Bugger off! My health is collapsing here. Bloody hellfire. Yeah. Too much waffle, not enough paying attention there, I think. Protector, what are you? Random demon of shadow. Do you know what? I don't even think I checked the corpse on the last demon of shadow to see whether or not he they'd kindly drop me my tomorrow's doja. It's not the salamander doing all the damage, is it? You know, a little green mob that you don't suspect of being dangerous suddenly having tons of it. Too many mobs over here. That's what I'm thinking. Devotee, come on, can I get you? Yes, I can pull you from here. Not sure how many I was up to, Will. Can't scroll up, I've already killed two mobs after that fact, so. It will be gone from the scrolly uppy. Yeah, definitely more damage just from throwing that bracer on. The little basic bracer you make in the uh, Arete startup area. Okie dokie, one more. What are you? This look would help. Really? These can actually be more troublesome than you think doing this. Especially if you end up kiting on the uh, the fields here. Because they can suddenly debuff you with an init debuff. Then you're in like, oh my god, this is taking even longer. It just dies, some fuss. 
talking about terrifying those guys were at the beginning. Oh. I'll land it. There you go. Nah. You never know. Right, where was... I've lost the one I want now. I hate you. I think that's a devotee over there that's respawned. It is. Come to me, my pretty. Getting distracted, you're getting distracted. You need to ignore the chat. Pay attention to what you're doing. I see a demon of shadow taking some interest in walking in this direction. Go away. Okay. Protectors, would it be? Yes, it would. Okay. You watch, we won't be able to find one now. Oh, yes, we will. Come on. A little closer, away from the others. That's, it. That's how we like you. Over here. I'm not mithering. Not pulling social aggro from all your bloody friends over there. Starting to take a little more damage here. Well, at least, you know, it kind of feels like I'm. I'm watching my uh, HP bar. I seem to be catching more damage than I was before. I think I'm missing any other buff that I didn't have. No. Definitely taking a bit more damage, though. Let's go for the hot. Oh, here comes bloody happy Harry. Right. Two mobs out here. It's definitely time to engage the AMS. You'd want to be going back and getting all these buffs back again. That's always annoying. I foresee there being some kitage involved on the boss. Yes, I do. Protector number two. There's a little weirdness there. That could have been lag, though. We may be coming up to the time of the lag. I saw you come in there, demon. Oh, it was only a brimstone. Oh, I shouldn't have bothered wasting AMS for that. Unfortunately, brimstones do not drop the doja. They're part of another quest, but I don't know what quest that is. I killed one just in case I came across the quest later on. You can see that. Oh no, that's scalding weaver skin. That's something else again. Can we drop a brimstone heart or something? I'm quite sure it is something like that. No? I think we still require three more protectors. At this rate, however, <laughs> we're going to ding before we even kill the boss and complete the quest. Okay, how many more? Two more, yeah. Okay. Let's get some of the ones a little nearer to Le Boss. Let's pop back there. Oh god. Devotee and Yeah, should have spotted him spawning back in. Yes, I should. Okay, now we have an interesting fight with two of these guys. Let's get the one we need, focus on that, and then the rest is just trying to survive. Okay, now they're back to not hitting me very often again. Oop, map has gone. Now I need that map. Yes, I do. And I like to see where mobs are walking around near me, or far away from me, preferably, when we're not wanting them. Okay, I think AMS... No, still, what? No. I'm <laughs> looking going, that can't be AMS still running. That's not... That's impossible. Getting too close to half health. Not liking. 
What are we doing for time? Wow. Over an hour out here. I think mobs are respawning. Let's move back a little. Yeah, it's definitely going to be kite mode when it comes to the big boss. About here looks vaguely safe. Oh, I got the stun. Oh, we like that kind. Yes, we do. Time to do the dance, I think. Oh, that felt like a bit of a hit then. Yeah, man, you're the last one. And again with a big hit. Ow. Okay, so now silence the scribe. Can't I pull the bugger out without 50 mobs? Probably not. What's the maximum I can... About here? Want to be max distance. Oh, line of sight. It's going to have to be from the grassy knoll. Come on, dude. Come on, you know where I am. Come on, away from your friends. Out of for you. Ow. Immediate ow. Yeah, you're pretty tough. Definitely a hell of a lot tougher than the last one, who could barely hit. Okay, we can survive your damage while AMS is up fairly well. But we've got to watch that HP. And when AMS goes down, we do the dance, I'm thinking. Yeah, I can definitely hit. I mean, the other one barely hit me once, I don't think. I was more concerned about ads coming back at me than anything else. Whereas now, yep, the guy can hit. Keep the little perkies going, yes. Keep the heel perks moving. Okay, let's have some of that. And some of that. How long? Can't read the yellow on orange there. <laughs> it's kind of... Yes, we're back on AMS. Nice. We can ride this. We can ride the guy. Without wimping out and running around. Although I was more than prepared to do it. Reload. Burst full auto. That's a big hit. Trying to get a dramatic shot here and then the music stops. Yeah, I can get him in shot when he does that, but... <laughs> He's a big lad. Yes, he is. Okay, I think I'm about to lose AMS. 44 seconds remaining. Yeah, it must be by now. Oh, and there comes the damage. Ow. I've got too cocky there trying to get a good screenshot. Screenshot, no. This could be running away time. Yes, it could. We've burned through our heel perks. Yeah, it's kitey muck kite. Come on, you ugly git. Chase me. First aid. We're back. No, you're slow. Yes, you are. Can I get the drain? Am I close enough? Got the drain. Okay. We reloaded. Reload. I hate that you can't run and reload. That I hate that. Come on. You're going down. Going down. Yes. You're dead, boy. You did! Didn't drop anything, but hey. A new perk has emerged. Um, I'm going to enhance health again. Not that it gives you a lot, but it makes this work better. And time to spend IP. Well, it's fairly simple at the moment. 
all the things. Yes, it is. Definitely putting into defence and <laughs> whatnot. Arranged weapons. Ranged specials. Uh, nano and casting. Need a ton more in there. Uh, I think we're okay in there for now. Exploring. Duh. Always want to go faster. First aid and treatment. Trade and repair. Yes, definitely. Okay. So what does he tell me now? I'm not seeing the quest in here. But apparently I go back to the Yutto anyway. So... Hmm. There's no... Normally when you finish a quest like that, you get return to or... You know, some vague instruction of some kind. But at the moment we're getting absolutely nothing. But I think that's what we're meant to do anyway. So... That's a where or we're going. Right. Time to see if I'm right. Uh, looking at this, you can see the reward. Massive chunk of XP and a lot of credits. So that actually, yeah, it auto completed. Okay, I have to kill the Eremites. Yes, goodbye. This is always a run around the Rock of Doom, but I'll save that for the next one. Okay, folks, bye for now. <laughs>